Thank you, Dr. Gaur, for coming to this event, and it's an honor to have you with us. And I would like to know your thoughts about what do you think about the Precision Medicine event hosted by viewers in Next Stage. I think uh, this is uh, very futuristic, and uh, probably I would say futuristic because it's just precision medicine is something that is happening. So I, uh, the Voice of Healthcare, has organized this uh, event, which is uh, looking into the current, what's the basic need today and probably a big hope for tomorrow. So it's a wonderful topic, wonderful event and I'm sure uh, if we knowledge and information in the panels what we have, they are full of uh, information and probably a beacon of hope. And especially in this day of uh, Easter, when we talk about the it's a day of hope. And I'm sure uh, precision medicine has been the future and the event by the Voice of Healthcare uh, probably is leading us to something where it's uh, going to be the future and of course been practiced uh, in the next probably five years. It's already been practiced, but I think next decade will be full of it. That's a nice thing. And my next question would be the panel which we had on that basis only. Like, what do you think are the key components of precision medicine as it relates to patient-centric care in India? See, precision medicine is something what is like uh, tailor-made to an individual. Because uh, when we talk about the panel, we talk about this topic, what we need today is like a patient century. Because it cannot be a generalized medicine. Everybody, everybody taking a painkiller and that's what we know. Every individual is dynamic. Our body is dynamic. Every individual has in something like a very diverse and unique genetic makeup. So uh, what we need is, you know, like any treatment which is to be done, which has to be tailored to the individual, further for that. Right? And for the, within the individual in terms of oncology, specific cancer. They said no two cancers are alike. Even if it's a lung cancer, the two patients with lung cancer don't behave alike. That's where the physician medicine arrives. We have a specific customized targeted therapies which are based on the, uh, you could say the, the, the genetic mutation which is there into specific cancer. So definitely it was uh, in precision medicine is going to have impact. It's showing the results now. Cancer which was to be a chronic uh, earlier Fatal disease, survival was five years, seven years, but now people are surviving. People are 20, 25 years. Survival rate has gone up for, say, breast cancer is almost like 20 years. Even chronic cancers, GI cancer, lung cancer, oral cancer, all is going up. Right? This is something, what is the need? And I think uh, we are all looking for hope. Uh, so that is the reason we instead of making now. Right? Fatal disease, we're talking about cancer is a chronic disease now shifting but as long as uh, the precision medicine probably make the quality of life better cure we are all hope i'm sure we're both for the cup but uh, the quality of life better targeted therapies immunotherapy liquid biopsies and uh, genetic therapies combination of all together which is going to be a uh, future and not only for oncology i think i'm not here is going to be for uh, lifestyle disorders it would be for say diabetes neurological, dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, any, many, many, much more. And I look forward uh, for the, the, the new era of precision medicine. Where everything will be precise and customized to the individual needs. Yes. Thank you so much for your insights and sharing your words with us. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.